What up, everybody? It's T Biz here, and we're going to take a look at uh, another Marvel Legends figure. This is uh, Craven the Hunter from uh, the Rhino Build a Figure wave from the, like, the Marvel Legends, obviously, from one of the many Spider Man waves. But um, yeah, without any further ado, let's check this guy out. He's really, really cool. This is a classic um, Spider Man villain. As I'm 40 years old, so as, as long as I can remember, even when I was little, I used to have a Spider Man um, racetrack or Hot Wheels racetrack that had actually like a little hole, like this like cardboard cutout, and the car could go through a hole, and uh, Craven was featured on there with a bunch of other villains that, you know, at the end of the little track or the loop-de-loop -loop track that uh, the spider car could go through, but, you know, that has nothing to do with this, but that's how long, you know, that's how long this uh, character and his likeness has stuck with me throughout 40 years of my life, or at least maybe, maybe not so much 40, because I probably got that when I was three or four, but I can't remember. Anyways, who cares? Let's check this figure out. Uh, so far, I dig this figure. The reason I got him in the first place is because the store that I work at, a lot of the old Marvel Legend waves were starting to sell out, and this is the last cool one from that wave that they had, so I figured I better pick him up. But, um, yeah, really rad figure. Sculpting on his um, lion mane thing is really, really cool. He's got a cool necklace. He's got, like, a young hip look to himself. He doesn't look all like a older curmudgeon type dude. He's uh looks like kind of like, I don't know, Cool Amber Crombie and Fitch, like a uh, douchey kind of guy. But um, he's also got these cool skull knee pads, which are really well sculpted and painted. Like, really, really cool. Pretty vicious. Comes with a pretty neat spear that makes me think of Survivor Man or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's very uh, Shaka Zulu like spear, which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah, and the sculpt and paint on this is pretty cool too, with the wash on the feathers and stuff and the little beads right there. But also detail. The wood grains and stuff in the spear itself but yeah really cool figure he's got a cool loincloth thing some pouches and stuff with probably various hunting accoutrement or whatever you call it but um yeah really cool he doesn't do very good splitsies or kick or anything like that i don't know if i get it in balance probably not but anyways yeah he's got all the normal articulation shoulder joint it's a little tight but spins all the way around got your normal bicep your double elbows your hinged hand with the wrist swivel got all that you got a crunch ratchet and crunch head side like goes all the way around and it nods so he can look down at you after he's kicked your butt so also it has a waist twist he has upper thigh cut back and forth Double knee as usual. Got a also a shin cut, or I guess you'd say a calf cut. I mean, my bad. And you've got a rocker hinge pivot, which Madugi. So yeah, he's all there. It's a pretty cool figure, and um, you know, work him into a pose that I thought was pretty cool that I like because these figures aren't worth getting unless you can put them in a cool pose. At least that's what I think. But yeah. Uh. see if I could get his up and give him a little work him up a little bit but yeah he's a cool figure and I like him and I'm glad to have him face off with my uh McFarlane classic Spider-Man or whatever as people want to call it. I don't know if it's a J. Scott Campbell Spider-Man but it's one of my favorite Spider-Mans I don't like the uh pizza Spidey I'm not a big fan of that Spider-Man I like my old classics uh McFarlane-esque looking one I think he's the coolest but yeah, but yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool figure. You can put him in a pretty cool pose. If I get him to stay in this pose, I had him in this pose at one point, but yeah. But yeah, pretty cool. Whoop, let see. Whoop, doesn't want to stay. Oh, come on, man. But either way, you get the idea. Oh. Fail points for trying to pose this guy, but oh well. But yeah, either way, cool figure. I like him a lot. Pose him however you want, but I don't know, that's a particular one of the poses that I like getting him in. But uh, yeah, really cool figure. Whoop. Just get him to stay. 
But yeah, really, really cool. And I'm glad I got him. But yeah, just if you can find him, still get him. He's really worth getting. And um, I've been getting kind of back in Marvel Legends because uh, just hanging out with my buddy Overlord. Kind of like, you know, like they say, if you go to the barbershop, you end up getting a haircut. And we kind of influence each other on collecting too and stuff. But yeah, if you want to um, check out some of his reviews. Um, yeah, he reviews tons of Marvel Legends. If you know me, you know him. If you don't, then oh well, go check him out. But I'll leave a link for his channel. But anyways, uh, thanks for uh, checking out my review and stuff. And uh, yeah, y'all have a good one. All right, later.